So the next up, we have a 15 minute gap because I put in gaps periodically that right. apparently we didn't need. <laughs> um, and our next thing is talking about handling cranks. In theory, Courtney Hogan may be joining us. Uh, her brother got married last night and uh, her family was sucking her into all the family things. So she may not have been able to escape. Uh, so this may be just the two well, of let us. Me, let me go through some comments that yeah. we're getting here. Uh, first of all, it is Father's Day. Uh, so happy Father's Day to all the dads and, and dad-like parental units. <laughs> and Joe's <laughs> like, oh no, I had to do something. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know T Tim sent off our card, so we're, we're good. <laughs> um, Richard Drum uh, is, is adding. So Richard Drum's also in Charlottesville where DSPK is headquartered. Uh, there is uh, good outreach also going on at McCormick Observatory. Uh, he presented to 35 parents and kids there last Friday night, so last night. Uh, Girl Scouts were there. They're the best visitors. Um, I uh, helped him do a program up there once, uh, and he was all like, look, you know, the, the Girl Scouts, look, girls, he, she's an astronomer. This is, you can be an astronomer, too. This is what an astronomer looks like. And that was really cool, and I was all blushing because I was new at this. Um, but McCormick Observatory uh, is the 125-year-old uh, observatory with a 26-inch Clark refractor. Uh, so if you're in the Central Virginia area uh, on a Friday night, uh, first and third Fridays of the month, uh, go, go check them out. Um, it's good stuff. Uh, Randy asks that it doesn't make sense to cut science without it. We'd still be living in the Middle Ages. Yeah. Um, good. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Joke. <laughs> Joe's being sarcastic. You know, I play Game of Thrones. I don't want to live. I don't want to live in that. No, the plague's not awesome. <laughs> uh, Wesley adds in um, that uh, cutting signs is, is making short-sighted plans. Uh, even if science doesn't give profitable results, it's bound to bring benefits eventually. Even pure maths will do that. You can see we're getting the UK viewers because <laughs> maths is a word. Um, it's rainy and cloudy in Ireland. Boo, sorry to hear that. Um, and uh, Wesley also adds, uh, this is why I think science outreach is so important. We'll always need more scientists. I doubt I would be studying physics today if when I was a kid I didn't even know what it was. So that yeah. is how, uh, that when you're impacting these kids, um, some of them may grow up to be scientists or some of them may grow up just to love science. And uh, we, want, we want to see that as well. Um, oh, and apparently if you want a cheap near-infrared camera, you can disassemble a computer webcam and use a filter to block visible light. Uh, and so that's different from the thermal camera that they were showing, which is a little bit further in the, into the infrared and also differencing. Uh, with a near-infrared camera, everybody looks really ghostly with really black eyes and white hair. Um, and that's uh, something you can do fairly cheaply. Um, yeah, yeah so that's true. Yeah, just as most phones can see infrared light as well. Um, but you'd have to block the visible light to really get that coming out. Yeah, and uh, the, another um, DSBK sort of activity we did is uh, we we gave the third, fourth, and fifth graders access to really nice cameras, uh, for better or for worse. Actually, they never broke the big expensive cameras, but we had infrared sensitive film and uh, they got to actually go around and be photographers and take pictures and then see the results in the infrared. Um, and uh, Rachel Beaton, who is a graduate student at University of Virginia, um, finishing up uh, doing amazing research uh, and, and a good photographer. She, she was teaching really? the kids how to, how to do that. What's up? Okay. <laughs> We've just been told to go to sleep. But no, we can. I was oh, just you told. told to go to sleep. <laughs> yes. Well, somebody else said that on the comments. Like, <laughs> wow, Pamela looks tired. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Joe's going to make some cider. Awesome. And, and Tim has appeared. There's a Timothy Legauer. <laughs> you missed uh, the DSBK folks. Oh, you're watching downstairs. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> um, so we have somebody asking what this live stream is about. Welcome. We are doing a 32-hour long broadcast hangout-a-thon. Uh, it's a fundraising event for CosmoQuest. You see the link down there, cosmoquest.org. Um, it is a citizen science project. You can uh, go to the site and click Do Science. It will take you to the different science projects that we're doing where you can take part in, in analyzing data from NASA, NASA missions. Um, and we have uh, education programs. 
Uh, we have outreach. We have we do weekly hangouts, not for 32 hours every week, but you know, <laughs> an hour per show, um, and uh, all kinds of programs. And we are are doing a fundraiser to keep these programs going as we look for more funding, uh, different funding sources as the the for funding sources we have been using are. Uh, kind of changing and drying up and uh, disappearing with the uh, current state of affairs in politics in the U.S. Um, and so we, our, our ultimate goal is to raise $200,000, which will f uh, staff this entire thing for, for six months. However, uh, I, oh gosh, I forgot what the hashtag was. Food for Joe? Feed Joe? Some uh, either one. Works. Something. We, uh, <laughs> we had... Feed Joe. Uh, we have Joe and Corey, our programmers. Uh, who, okay, fine. Corey has food. We don't care about Corey. Joe wants food. <laughs> Joe is our grad student. <laughs> Did you hear making comments in the corner? Um, who, uh, you know, we, we're looking to feed him and, and get him medical insurance <laughs> and all those yes. kinds of things. Uh, without the programmers, we have no project. And so uh, we are raising money to keep these guys funded because their funding is the first to go and the most in jeopardy. Yeah. Uh, tell Joe I'd rather get uh, what? I'd rather get aspirin than be bled out with leeches. This is to do with the Middle Ages. No, it doesn't. <laughs> yes, it makes you lose blood and die. Well, leeches are actually very good for increasing circulation when they reattach limbs. Have you heard about um, maggot therapy? Yes, I have, and those videos are gross. <laughs> Don't Google so that. So leeches <laughs> and maggots both have medicinal purposes that are research endorsed. Yes. Just but not icky. the ones that were used in medieval times. But icky. <laughs> well, yeah, icky happens. They're icky. So uh, other than the fact that we get completely distracted by silliness, um, that is what we're doing is, is a fundraiser for science. Cosmoquest.org slash donate. If you can donate, that's awesome. Any little bit helps. Uh, if you can't, then uh, if you're, and if you're enjoying this, uh, or if you enjoy our, our projects or our media, things that we put out, please share links, share the project with your friends, with your networks, with your favorite celebrities on Twitter. Ask them for a retweet. We are shamelessly asking for re retweets. That's fine. Uh, so CosmoQuest.org. You can follow us on Twitter at, uh, at CosmoQuestX and uh, Google Plus CosmoQuest as well. Um, that's uh, actually an easy URL. It's plus.google.com slash plus sign CosmoQuest. We have one of those actual name ones, so we, we feel special. Thank you, Google. Um, how are we doing on donations? Do you have that open? Uh, oh, I do. Okay. So we are going to have Richard Drum join us to discuss Ooh. cranks, and I'm going to have Joe sit in for me, and I'm going to go fix some CSS and blog stuff for the, la the launch tomorrow. Excellent. Maybe nap for 30 minutes because we're getting comments telling me to go to bed. <laughs> okay, I'm being told to nap okay, and then he's program. Okay, nap first, then code. Okay. Uh, so we're at $11,347, uh, so any little bit uh, to keep us going will help. Uh, oh, Courtney's... 15,000 people pay for a Joe. Oh, good. Courtney's joining in for her segment. Awesome. Is she? Yeah. Okay. Is she talking to the person for the link? I have no idea. Who's in the green room? Oh, and uh, Every Okay, everyone wants to talk about cranks. I'm just going to send the link. <laughs> so Courtney and uh, Michael and uh, all right. So um, Courtney and Michael, I've sent you guys the links in the uh, in the chat, so you can join us to talk about battling cranks um, while Pamela takes a nap and then does some coding. Uh, and Richard, you said, did you already send him an invite? No, I okay. simply. All right. I don't have a chat open to him, so I've just sent him an invitation. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever.